A Titan stands out among the 150 moons in our solar system due to its distinctive feature, a thick atmosphere. At the moon's surface, the atmospheric pressure surpasses that of Earth by 60%, akin to the pressure experienced when submerging 50 feet underwater in Earth's oceans. Despite being less massive than Earth, Titan's gravity doesn't tightly grip its gaseous envelope, allowing the atmosphere to extend 10 times higher than Earth's, reaching nearly 370 miles into space. However, what has NASA uncovered beneath Titan's dense atmosphere? In this video, we delve into the revelation that just a few centuries ago, a remarkable world relatively close to us was identified. This celestial body boasts clouds in its atmosphere, experiences rainfall, and witnesses the flow of great rivers into lakes and seas on its surface. Despite these intriguing features, the conditions on Titan are harsh. Titan Titan, Saturn's biggest moon, is situated approximately 10 astronomical units away from the Sun, well beyond the habitable zone. It orbits Saturn at a distance of about 1.2 million kilometers and completes a full orbit around the planet in just under 16 Earth days. Titan's diameter is 5,152 kilometers, making it 5.6% larger than Mercury, but its mass is relatively small, about 40% of Mercury's. According to current understanding, Titan has a sizable core at its center, roughly 3,400 kilometers in diameter, composed of various silicon compounds. Surrounding this core is a thick layer of densely packed ice situated beneath a cold liquid ocean that extends hundreds of kilometers deep. This ocean contains dissolved ammonia, methane, and caustic salts, allowing it to remain liquid even in extremely cold temperatures. Titan's subsurface ocean is encased in a robust crust around 100 kilometers thick, made up of a mix of water ice and methane hydrate. The tidal forces from Saturn continually deform this crust, leading to significant rifts and fractures. These forces also give rise to large cravel canoes, which spew out substantial amounts of methane, ammonia, and water onto Titan's surface. Atmosphere Methane plays a role in Titan's atmosphere similar to that of water vapor on Earth. The average surface temperature of Titan is incredibly low, around 94 Kelvin or 179 degrees Celsius below zero, just below its boiling point. Fluctuations in temperature cause hydrocarbon vapors to condense and form methane seas, lakes, and rivers. Titan's atmosphere primarily comprises hydrogen, making up about 98.4% of its volume, while methane accounts for approximately 1.6%. Due to the extreme cold, the atmosphere remains condensed near the surface, with mountains reaching heights of less than 500 meters. Much of Titan's surface is permanently hidden by multi-layered clouds and an orange-yellow haze created by tiny droplets of liquid methane and dissolved organic matter. This distinctive haze gives Titan its characteristic hue, absorbing and scattering visible light while transmitting infrared light. This unique weather phenomenon leads to an unconventional anti-greenhouse effect, further cooling Titan's surface by about 10 degrees. Despite the challenges posed by these conditions, Cassini's orbiter, equipped with infrared cameras, successfully mapped parts of Titan earlier this century. While not as precise as desired, these maps outlined the most prominent features of Titan's surface. Titan's map, Titan, Saturn's largest moon, has a diverse landscape with bright and dark features. Some areas reflect more sunlight, like the Aslan region, while others are darker in color. One prominent feature is Mount Doom, a mountain towering 1.5 kilometers above the plains, suggesting it might be an active cryovolcano. Nearby is Satraptra, Titan's deepest depression, possibly the mouth of a huge cryovolcano. Moving north, there's the vast Mahini Fluctus, an area covered by Mount Doom's ejector, with frozen material and sand dunes of methane and water ice. Fenzel is a dark region with Titan's largest impact crater, Minerva, which is about 440 kilometers in diameter and is thought to be the oldest existing crater on Titan. Further south, there's the unique feature called Hote Arcus, a bright arc-shaped region about 600 kilometers long. It serves as a natural boundary between rocky mountains and a wide valley. Radar data shows color changes, possibly linked to cryovolcano eruptions. Xanadu, located to the northwest, is a vast lowland area with rugged terrain and three parallel ridges called Mithrimontes. Shangri-La, a dark plain stretching several hundred kilometers, lies to the west of Xanadu and may have been flooded with liquid methane in the past. Adiri Upland, to the west of Shangri-La, features numerous drainage canals and caves likely formed by liquid hydrocarbon flows. Balat, a vast dark lowland area, is to the west of Adiri and to the east, near Shangri-La's border, 
is the landing site of the Huygens probe. Huygens, the sole vehicle to touch down on an object in the outer solar system, the Huygens descent probe, was a pivotal part of the Cassini-Huygens science program. Liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion-mile trek to Saturn. Launched alongside the Cassini orbiter in 1997, the spacecraft embarked on a seven-year journey through interplanetary space, reaching Saturn's orbit in 2004. In early 2005, the Huygens probe descended through Titan's atmosphere, marking a historic moment in outer solar system exploration. While Cassini continued its orbital mission around Saturn, Huygens entered Titan's atmosphere, gradually reducing speed with a sophisticated parachute system, touching down on the surface at 4.4 meters per second. The probe withstood a momentary 15-fold overload before initiating data collection. Equipped with a diverse array of scientific instruments, Huygens studied various aspects of Titan's atmosphere, measuring air currents, electrical conductivity, temperature, and composition. The probe also captured photographs, audio recordings, and conducted ground examinations. Upon landing, Huygens observed a flat plane with rounded rocks, indicative of powerful fluid currents. Using a special drill, it penetrated 15 centimeters into the ground, revealing a substrate resembling wet sand or dense snow saturated with liquid hydrocarbons. Methane gas was released during drilling, providing valuable insights. Transmitting around 500 megabytes of information, including 350 photographs, Huygens' data unveiled unique features of Titan, enhancing our understanding of its mysterious atmosphere. Hidden layers of atmosphere. For instance, it was discovered that Titan's atmosphere is divided into two distinct parts around 80 kilometers above the surface, creating a nearly calm layer where neither upper atmospheric air currents nor surface winds reach. The cause of this phenomenon remains unknown. Another intriguing feature is the presence of two ionospheres on Titan. The first, situated at approximately 1,200 kilometers altitude, is characterized by heightened electrical conductivity due to a concentration of ionized particles formed by stellar wind streams and cosmic radiation. The second ionosphere, located much lower at around 60 kilometers altitude, still raises debates about its formation. Moving northwest from the Adiri region, we encounter Titan's largest hydrocarbon reservoir, the Kraken Mare, covering an area of 400,000 square kilometers, slightly smaller than the Black Sea. The exact depth of the reservoir with its highly viscous liquid hydrocarbon mixture remains challenging to measure, though in most areas, it exceeds 200 meters. Another significant natural basin, the Ligeia Mar, is situated slightly north near Titan's Pole, boasting a diameter of 500 kilometers and an area about three times larger than Lake Baikal. These seas are interconnected by the narrow and lengthy Travis Fretum, spanning 173 kilometers. In the southern polar region, numerous smaller lakes and lagoons filled with liquid methane are present. Notably, in 2014, an analysis of Cassini images revealed a large, bright object on the surface of Ligeia Mare, growing to 260 kilometers in diameter within a few months and disappearing suddenly. Several hypotheses suggest temperature differences cause constant layering of a liquid hydrocarbon mixture, leading to the formation of nitrogen bubbles that rise to the surface, creating clusters of persistent, shiny foam. Due to the high viscosity of hydrocarbons, these bubbles can reach 4.5 centimeters in diameter and remain stable for months resembling large islands when viewed from space. Plans for a submersible probe mission to Titan in 2010 were postponed indefinitely, with a higher priority given to the ongoing Dragonfly program, currently in the design phase and scheduled for launch in 2027 after successful key tests. Possibility of life. The debate on the potential for life on Titan continues to be intense. On one hand, the harsh conditions, extremely low surface temperatures, the presence of toxic hydrocyanic acid in the atmosphere, and the lack of liquid water seem to make the existence of familiar biological life unlikely. On the other hand, Titan's atmosphere reveals a remarkable array of organic compounds, including nitrogenous bases and amino acids, essential components of proteins, RNA and DNA. These compounds could naturally form on the Moon's surface. Liquid methane acting as a solvent might play a role similar to water in biochemical reactions. Experiments also indicate that, under specific conditions, a mixture of liquid hydrocarbons with phosphine can create an environment resembling Earth's early primordial soup, suggesting the potential for exotic forms of life on Titan's surface. Titan stands out as a unique and captivating world, marked by mysterious winds, rainfalls, and rivers that bear some resemblance to Earth's, yet with significant differences. It challenges our conventional understanding of life, prompting us to consider that life elsewhere in the universe might not conform to the familiar patterns we know. Perhaps the phenomenon we've been diligently searching for on countless distant planets could be closer to home than we ever imagined.